Now I'd like to show you how to make a brown beef stock. When making beef stock, the meat, the bones, and the aromatics are roasted first to give a deeper flavor and darker color to the stock. And what you do is, in a big roasting pan like this, put some unflavored oil, sort of a safflower oil or a canola oil, and strew four pounds of veal bones. These come from the shank and some oxtail or neck bones. These are lovely for a stock oxtail. Like that right into the fat. Add a little bit more oil and get this right into a 400 degree oven and roast turning once and stirring often for even browning for about 45 minutes. So this goes right into the oven. So the oxtails and the veal bones are nicely browned. Add two tablespoons of tomato paste. This can be canned or out of a tube, but get a good flavorful tomato paste and stir that around in the pan. This will add some depth of color to your sauce. And then add your vegetables. Your aromatics are a different thing in a stock like this. We're not even peeling the onions. It's really kind of great that you can just put the skins in there. The celery washed, of course. Two ribs of celery, two carrots, unpeeled but washed, put into the pan. Two yellow onions, and four cloves of garlic. Also, they don't have to be peeled, but I like to smash them a little bit for the pot. And stir this around. Put that right back into the 400 degree oven and roast until the vegetables are browned and tender and the bones are deeply browned. So that takes about 40 minutes longer. So you can see the bones have gotten a beautiful color, especially the oxtails. And uh, the vegetables are tender. Now here's where we are using a deep stock pot because we want as little evaporation as possible while we are cooking the stock. So there's quite a bit of fat which I am going to pour off. Try not to pour off the brown bits. That's going to add color to your stock. And now on high heat, one cup of red wine. And then we'll deglaze the pan. Now you can burn off the alcohol by boiling that red wine down by a third or a half. It smells so delicious. And then pour all of this right into the stock pot. Now take this to the sink and fill so that everything is covered by at least two inches. That's gonna take at least six quarts of water. And if you want, and I do, rinse my pan a little bit so that I'm sure I'm getting every bit of goodness into the stock pot. So to better extract flavor and to preserve clarity, begin cooking the stock with cold water. Don't add hot water to this, use cold. So now look at the color. It is such a rich color already. And now bring this to a boil, reduce to a simmer, and cook for approximately eight hours. So notice I've reduced the heat so it's just barely simmering. Uh, remember, boiling a stock is going to make a cloudy stock. So I'm taking off whatever impurities is on the top. There's not much, not yet. And now is the time to add our aromatics. A big bunch of parsley like this, some fresh thyme, uh, two teaspoons of black peppercorns and a couple bay leaves. Submerge those into the stock and allow to simmer very slowly over low heat for 
approximately eight hours. So uh, make sure you start this in the morning or by noontime if you don't want to stay up all night because you're going to have to add a little bit more hot water if necessary to keep everything submerged. So our stock is done. Now notice it's really cooked down quite substantially, but everything has stayed submerged during the cooking time. I'm just going to remove the big bones to a bowl. And if you boil this down even more, uh, you will have a demi-gloss, a very rich flavoring that you can add to stews and sauces. I always like putting it through the cheesecloth because it really does take out all of the impurities. And this is what it looks like when it's chilled. There's quite a layer of this orangey fat on top. Oh, look, it's coming off all in one piece. Makes that an easy job. This is going to be discarded, of course. And here's your gorgeous broth. Very rich, very flavorful. Mmm, so good. What a great stew or soup this would make. Beef stock made the old-fashioned ray in a stock pot.